I think investing in education is the single most high impact uh, investment the government makes. And doing it in concert with other states who are trying uh, to lift not just our state but the whole country is enormously important. If you care about building a stronger future uh, for people and, uh, and the fact that we all have a stake in that future, then governors need personally to be involved in encouraging innovation and uh, expansion of opportunity in public education. Massachusetts, I'm proud to say, is number one in the nation in student achievement and in the top five internationally in math and science. It's a tremendous accomplishment, and we've been at that level uh, at, in the last four or five years, but we've been working toward that for almost 20 years. Uh, and what we've done is, uh, is combine high stakes and high standards. And we are very committed to closing the achievement gaps we have in which are, are trapped poor children and children with special needs, children who speak English as a second language, because they are our kids too. Closing the achievement gap is important because all children are our children, not just the children who excel, not just the children who uh, get the extra preparation to uh, uh, for their standardized tests and so forth, or the kids in my neighborhood, for example, like our kids who get the uh, after-school opportunities and sports and exercise. Those kinds of benefits, those kinds of opportunities to reach your full potential should be made available to every child. And there are ways to do it that are cost-effective, uh, particularly in the long run, and morally important to do. We are an unusual nation in human history in the sense that we're organized around a handful of civic ideals. Uh, and those ideals uh, include the notion that you can move in a generation or two from the station of your birth to a different place um, and provide for yourself and your, and your family. And education has always been that path, always been that equalizer, and it will be in the future. But not unless we cultivate it, not unless we support it, and not unless we care about it.